Right yeah, bad bitch, I took that bitch to Ben and Honda. She don't want that, so I took her to McDonald's, you ain't nigga. What's up, boys and girls, man? Welcome to another video. You know what I'm saying? Another video, y'all come on on the class, boy. Now, look, bro, we got rappers that got into fights, bro. We got Paul Smoke and me, young boy, Quan Arano, and Ace Rock. Now, we know Quan Arano. I saw a video with Quan Arano. He was punching the nigga head off, but. The King of Orleans situation, my boy, he had an out of body experience. Now, I don't know about that. I don't guess Conor Rana wasn't having his best, his best night that night. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't expecting the punches. And he wasn't expecting, was, 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 you know what I'm saying? He wasn't expecting a duel with the two piece, brother. So, yeah, I understand that Conor Rana, you know, we can't win them all, brother. But at the same time, look, we about to rock out. But NBA Young Boy, you know what I'm saying? We got Pop Smoke, not me, brother. I ain't no Pop Smoke out here punching niggas' heads off, bro. I didn't know that, brother. But we got to rock out, bro. And let's see what they talking about, you hear me? Y'all come on the class. Make sure y'all check y'all notification bells, you know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all check your subscribe button, bro. YouTube not sending all my notifications out, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know why, but yeah, nigga, we still gotta get it popping. Let's go. Let's get it popping, bro. Life isn't all fun and games. The success and money can make you a target to haters, which often leads to dangerous situations. Even with a team of security, rappers sometimes have to deal with situations alone. Here's a look at some of the craziest rapper fights that have gone down over the past few years. NBA Youngboy NBA Youngboy is a popular rapper from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Youngboy is known for his unique trap sound as well as his wild behavior. At just 21 years old, the artist has a criminal history that includes crimes like attempted first degree murder and kidnapping. He's currently in prison for federal firearms charges after he was caught by Baton Rouge police at a music video shoot along with 16 other people who were in possession of illegal weapons and drugs. Being a convicted felon, Youngboy is not allowed to possess a firearm or associate with other felons. Given that the case was elevated from a state to a federal investigation, Youngboy may be looking at some serious time. Check out our video on rappers who ran from the cops for more info on this crime. So Youngboy isn't just a rapper who talks about street shit for the clout. He really lives the life he describes in his music. Throughout his career, the rapper has been involved in several violent situations, including a fight with members of his own crew. Back in 2018, oh, a video- Youngboy had a fight with somebody in his own crew? I never know that, but that's new to me. That, that's new to me. That so young boy, he not fighting niggas. He not fighting dudes outside the crew. He, he getting in there with his own crew too. So basically, young boy don't got no peace, bro. Yeah, young boy wouldn't to step on anything, you know what I'm saying, that come in his way. Like, he don't care. Like, that's a wild young nigga that, you know, with money. So yeah, you give a wild young nigga money, they over there wild when they're in the trenches, you feel me? So when they get some money, like, you can't tell a nigga nothing when they get some money when they're already wild. So yeah, they're going to turn them up more. So they're going to drop a bag on your head. They're going to punch your head off. Yeah, and they, yeah. You can't tell him that, bro. So yeah, young boy give me vibes like that, brother. I'm sick of young boy. Man. Young boy getting into a pretty wild fight with a member of his own crew. It's not clear at first exactly where the fight takes place, but it seems to be backstage at a show. Yeah, young, young boy's boy artist, Quando Rondo, can also be seen participating in the attack and is the one who throws the first punch. Quando punches the victim, but then is separated by the rest of the crowd. Young boy picks up the attack and gets the dude on the ground. He starts throwing wild haymaker punches while the victim tries to get away. He clearly doesn't want the smoke because he can be heard yelling, What are you doing? Why me? The victim tries to defend himself with his legs and manages to kick young boy in the chest and knock him to the ground. Young boy gets. Boy. Brother. So who YB was punching out? Bro, who that is, brother? So YB. No, man, why be came, you know, why be too hot on shit? Why be punching out niggas in the entourage and all type of shit, boy? And Quan Arana hit that man with a haymaker, brother. Yeah, Quan Arana should hit Queen King Bone with a haymaker, but he didn't. So, no, 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 no. Why, Quan Arana, I don't believe you. Yeah, we don't believe you, down. No, we don't believe you down south, brother. No, we don't believe you, brother. So, yeah, yeah, young boy, yeah, young boy, yeah. Young boy, too hot out here in Quan Arana, we just don't believe you, brother. Yeah, you hit that man, you hit that man like that, brother. No, man, you too hot out here, Quan up and keeps throwing punches but the video ends not long after at first it was unclear who young boy was attacking in the video and why he would be so hostile toward his own crew especially when it seems like the dude didn't want any problems to begin with but a year later in 2019 young boy and quando rondo were sued by a former dj and tour manager who claimed that they violently attacked him backstage at a concert in south carolina around the same time the video was released the DJ's name was Carl Capers, and he sued both rappers, claiming young boy and Quando Rondo assaulted him in an unprovoked attack that left him with a cracked tooth, bloody face, and an injured reputation in the music industry. The fight took place backstage after a concert at the Florence Center in South Carolina. During the concert, someone tried to snatch young boy's chain, and he ended up punching the fan in the face, which set off a brawl. Check out our previous video on rappers getting their chain snatched for more info on this fight. 
According to the lawsuit, Rondo Rondo took Capers to go back into the crowd where the brawl was still taking place and help one of their friends, which Capers refused to do. That's when Rondo socked him in the face and Youngboy jumped in to continue the attack. Quando and Youngboy were probably all jacked up on adrenaline from the brawl and felt disrespected after Capers didn't want to ride for the team. If Capers was just a hired DJ and tour manager who wasn't involved in the streets to begin with, Youngboy and Quando shouldn't have expected him to participate in the brawl. But if he had been a part of Youngboy's entourage for a while, he should have known what comes with moving with a group like that. Based on the lawsuit, right, it seems Capers right. was just a basic DJ hired to do his job and didn't know how real it could get when you go on tour with NBA Youngboy. It seems like Youngboy was upset about almost having his chain snatched and took it out on his innocent DJ. But if you thought NBA Youngboy was wild, his crew member Quando Rondo is just as crazy. Check out this next brawl the rapper got into at a basketball game in Atlanta. Quando Rondo. Just like his mentor, NBA Youngboy, Quando Rondo is a rapper who just can't stay out of trouble. Both rappers have a crazy temper, and it seems like wherever they go, they get into it with someone. Back in 2019, not long after Quando first started to gain some attention for his music, the rapper was involved in a huge brawl at a basketball game. Footage from the event shows a massive fight break out at a basketball game in Atlanta. It's not clear what happened, but Quando can be seen being yanked back by security after being on the floor in the middle of the action. The artist can be seen throwing up gang signs as a security guard pushes him back up on the stage, and that's where the video ends. It's hard to tell from the video exactly what went down, but it seemed to involve a bigger crew than just the rapper. No, 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 no. I take that back, gang. No, Quando Rondo, boy, you definitely crazy, boy. Yeah, nigga, you need to be on some Adderall and some Cell Club, but you need medicine, bro. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Quando Rondo was throwing up gang signs. Yeah, yeah, he was cutting up. Yeah, Quando Rondo throwing up gang signs. Yeah, Quando Rondo, boy, you crazy, boy. Yeah, and it's, and it's crazy, brother, because it's like Quando Rondo always in some bullshit, bro. Yeah, that's why I tell y'all, boy, don't matter how much money you get, boy. Yeah, no matter how much money you get these young niggas, bro. The white man give them, brother. When the hood in you, brother, you can't take the hood out of them, brother. So, yeah, that just gonna turn them up more. So, yeah, Quando Rondo, boy, you too hot out your boy. Yeah, man, Quando Rondo throwing up gang signs, man. Quando and his crew don't play around. Members of his entourage are currently under investigation for the murder of King Von outside the Monica Hookah Lounge in November 2020. I don't know what happened that night, If you've been following our coverage on Chicago drill rappers, you know that King Von is one of the most notorious shooters in Chirac history. Von allegedly had beef with Youngboy over a female, which meant he also had beef with Quando and his crew. They ran into each other that night outside the hookah lounge, and a Ooh, fight broke out that cost Vaughn his life. Rondo wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. Damn, y'all saw Vaughn walk up to Quando Rondo, son. You hear me? Mm, like, hit him with some hard shit, bro. Like, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just really looked at that footage, bro. Like, bro, he really hit him with a hard one, bro. So I understand when that man, see, he had an out-of-body experience, bro. Because he wasn't expecting that punch, bro. He wasn't expecting a nigga hit him with some pie all shit, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man, come on, man. I'm sick of these niggas, bro. The rest yeah. of the suspect named Timothy Leakes, a.k.a. Lil Tim, who was part of Rondo's crew, and fired on the Chicago rapper after he punched his man in the face. The trial is still ongoing, but proves that the NBA camp, Rondo and company included, are not the ones to mess with. Yeah, he's not. This basketball game brawl is just... I'm gonna tell y'all this, bro, and I'm not gonna pause in the mood. Lil Timmy, Lil Tim did what he was supposed to do. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do. You can't go around hitting on nobody, bro, and think we're not going to get consequences behind that, bro. It's a consequence for everything you do in life, bro. So when King Von went hit that man, son, see, what I think in my what I think in my heart, bro, and I always think that, brother, that King Von thought he was going to punch Quan around her head off and end the man's career. Yeah, he thought he was going to hit that man, yeah, in his career, because you got to think about it, bro. If King Von hit Quan around her, right, and no, nothing would happen to King Von that, Von that night, Boy, Quan Ron career would have been over with. Yeah, we, yeah, we as fans, bro, we'd have been tearing him up, bro. Every time Quan Ron drop a song, we was gonna bring up the situation with King Von hitting him with a two-piece special, bro. Yeah, so yeah, let Tim did what he was supposed to do, bro. Yeah, yeah, you could tell King Von and went into went into that shit that night, bro. He wasn't thinking that that shit was gonna happen, but he didn't. Cause if he did, he wouldn't put his hands on that man. So that that gonna show y'all boys a valuable lesson, brother. You can't go around putting your hands on people, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to go ahead and put your hands on somebody, brother, you know what I'm saying? Take it from me. Have your guns ready. Yeah, and be ready to shoot like y'all cowboys because y'all think y'all cowboys are ready. So, yeah, go ahead and do y'all thing, brother. Yeah. The proof that no matter where they're at, if Rondo and his boys feel disrespected yeah. or violated, they're going to do something about it. Hopefully, Rondo can put the King Von situation behind him and focus on his rap career. Although the fights and shootouts may earn him respect in the streets, it won't help his rap career to have half the industry turn against him, even if the shooting wasn't his fault. 
With Youngboy potentially going away for several years, Ronda will have to hold it down for the entire crew, which is already going to be hard to do with such a big target on his head. This next artist got into a wild street fight in Sweden and ended up spending over a month in jail. Here's what happened. ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky is a rapper, actor, and fashion model from Harlem, New York. Rocky blew up back in the early 2010s, along with other members of the ASAP mob with tracks like Peso and Purple Swag. He went on to establish himself as one of the leading young voices in New York City hip-hop and built a career as a creative entrepreneur who has dabbled in everything from acting to producing. But with every successful career comes a few ups and downs, and in 2019, Rocky was arrested in Sweden after getting into a fight with an annoying fan. ASAP and his crew were overseas in Sweden when they started being harassed by an annoying fan. They were doing some shopping in Hortigas Square in Stockholm when a man named Mustafa Jafari and his friends started following the rapper. A video of the lead up to the brawl shows Rocky's crew and their bodyguard telling the kids to leave them alone and walk the other way. He keeps complaining about his headphones and refuses to go away. The bodyguard later admits that he broke the kid's headphones, but only after Mustafa hit him with them. The video continues on for several minutes as Rocky and his crew tell the kid to leave and he just keeps complaining about his headphones. They are surprisingly patient with the dude who just won't take a hint. Things get even tenser after a girl walks up to them and claims that Mustafa and his friend grab their asses. That's when the ASAP mob decides to do what they have to do. Rocky himself posted yeah. footage of the actual fight on Instagram, which was later picked up by TMZ. You can see the rapper grab the kid by the chest Damn. and then whip him to the ground, where he and his entourage start beating and kicking. Yo, nigga, swing that man like you was a whole rag out here. But come here, boy. Nigga, the case on that boy. You hear me? Come here, boy. Yeah, come on, man. Can't go around. Yeah, he swung that man like he was on WWE, like he was John Cena, man. He said Rocket Two Hot out here, bro. I'm sick of him. Jafari was pretty beat up and ended up getting cut with broken man, bottles man. that were on the ground. He had to get picked up by an ambulance and ended up filing a complaint with the police over the assault. Rocky was later arrested after performing a gig at the station arena and brought to Cronenberg Remand Prison, where he was held until trial after he was deemed a flight risk. Rocky's arrest was a major scandal in the U.S. and many advocates called for a boycott of the country until he was free. Rocky even found an unlikely ally in former President Donald Trump, who sent out a series of tweets demanding that the rapper be released. Around that time, Trump was working closely with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, who were allegedly the ones who asked the former president to do something about the situation. After an in-depth investigation into the fight, the court determined that although Jafar was being annoying, he had not threatened any violence until he was attacked. ASAP was found guilty of the assault, but released from prison on August 2nd, 2019. The verdict of the trial was announced two weeks later, and ASAP was given a suspended sentence in order to pay Jafari's 12,500 KR, which is around $1,270 in damages. Because he already spent over a month in jail, he was not required to return to do any more time, and no other consequences came from the arrest. Overall, it was a minor situation that got blown way out of proportion. The rapper and his crew warned the kid to go away several times, and he refused to do so because he clearly wanted attention. ASAP and his crew probably should have just ignored him until he got bored and went away. Although, who knows how long that would have taken. Luckily, Rocky was released without any serious charges being filed against him and was able to return to the States and continue his career. In the future, he should probably let his security handle those situations so he doesn't end up getting caught up in the middle of a Twitter war between world leaders. If you thought that was crazy, this next rapper ran from a dude with a gun but then managed to double back and chase him off. Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke was a popular drill rapper from Brooklyn who was tragically killed in February 2020. Pop blew up the previous year with hits like Welcome to the Party and Dior and was seen by many to be leading the wave of the Brooklyn drill scene. But before Pop became an international superstar, he was just a regular street dude from Brooklyn who was involved in typical street life. Pop was known to be affiliated with a group called the Wu, an umbrella gang that contains various different blood and crypt sets. The Wu was known to be with another umbrella gang called the Cho, which contains Gangsta Disciple as well as some blood and crypt sets. Check out our video on the Wu's vs. the Cho's for more info on this deadly beat. Pop was a well-known figure in New York who repped the Wu, which made him a target anywhere he went in the city. A video leaked to the internet allegedly shows Pop being chased by a dude with a weapon. The video shows a man who looks like Pop Smoke in a white t-shirt and a Yankees cap running across the street being chased by a dude wearing a red bandana. Pop did rep the Crips, so it would make sense that a blood might try to get him, especially if he's affiliated with the Cho. They run into the middle of an intersection where vehicles are parked at a red light. Yeah. They appear to be on Apple. Yeah, but Pop Smoke ran like a whole track style, right? <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna lie, but, but we're gonna wait and see what happens, huh? 
You go wait to see what happened, but a better ran like a track star, but I ain't gonna lie. Bro. All right, a street that runs through the Midwood and Flatland neighborhoods of Brooklyn, not far from where Pop grew up in Canarsie. The dude in the red bandana tries to hit him with something, but Pop manages to get away and use one of the vehicles at the red light as a shield. The attacker then starts hitting the vehicle, which then drives forward into traffic and crashes into a van that's driving down the cross street. Ooh, Both vehicles shit. stop and form a wedge that protects Pop from the attacker. This must have been some sort of orchestrated attack because the dude with the red bandana then gets into a car in the other lane and they speed off. Pop and the driver of the car that hit the van both try to chase after them, but obviously they aren't fast enough and not to get away. The whole thing was captured by the driver in the car behind them. If you like this video, yeah, check out some of our previous videos. I ain't gonna lie, so I'm thinking Pop Smooth about to pull out the blinking hill of brother with the blink ass summer. I ain't gonna lie, Pop, Pop Smooth faster than the motherfucker, son. But at the same time, nigga, shouts out to the whole New York, brother. You know what I'm saying? I go to show y'all, boy. Y'all can't be running up on these rappers, boy. Cause thinking these rappers, they ain't gonna do you nothing, boy. You can't be doing that. But I understand niggas be fans and shit like that. But, boy, they, they human at the end of the day, boy. Yeah, it is, it's just that simple, bro. But at the same time, brother, it's that Quan Orano, so, Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened to Quan Arana that night when King Von hit him, brother, but yeah, yeah. I would I would have liked it more, bro. It did it did it did a sweat up, brother. And sweat up like men, brother. And went to fighting bro nigga and King Von could have laid us here another day. But yeah. And King and as for young boy, bro. Yeah, young boy too hot out to Top Don't Cares, he fight the people in his entourage, you know me? Fans that top don't give a fuck. So top of a person that nobody I don't think nobody will wanna go to war with you, know me? Cause yeah, he too hot out to you need a high head with money. So yeah, I'm about done with this video, bro. Yeah, I'ma get this video right here, I'm gonna get it a solid turn, brother. And I'm checking out, nigga real spit again shit. I got some double D, big titties on that shit, I know she really like that Spit again, a whole click, but a nigga really cut them See you on war, how you gon' be for you ain't got funds Spit again, a whole click, my nigga live anything Chain hanging to the floor